How cute is this? Welcome back to Berlin, and uh, we hope you guys enjoying vlogmas as much. Yeah, as well. it's been very fun been to very fun. to do. Yeah, honestly, great experience. And uh, today we reserved the day to explore the museum island. Yeah, basically, like as you can see, uh, as the umbrella, it's freaking raining. It's super cold, so we decided. Yeah, today inside, so we came to visit one of the main attractions here in Berlin called the Museum Island. And basically, as you see, like there's this little river, and then we have kind of a little island. And the, the name Museum Island comes from because the island has five museums. I think it's five main museums and then yeah. a few more. And then you also have that, that's the Berlin Dome. Cathedral, which yeah. looks amazing. So, and I think the ticket includes all the museums. So we're gonna try to see as much as, as we much can. As you can. And we are super excited mm -hmm. and it's super cool. Super cool. So, so let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. And now you are going to try to see the new museum that has an amazing uh, Egypt collection. Okay, so that's going to be handy. So let's take one of these. Of all of our ancient Egypt classes, what gods do you remember? Uh, Anubis, uh, Ptah, Osiris. So totally remember. So we remember Isis, Osiris, right? Can we all agree that like the coolest part of every ancient uh, Egypt museum is the sarcophagus? Yes, it's like the coolest part. So in ancient Egypt, mummification was a normal practice, and it started like uh, in the um, box, and then through the time it changed to like those woman-shaped, um, like uh, the coffins that we just saw. But uh, always uh, before being mummified. Uh, their organs would go to four jars, their four main organs, and each jar was attributed to a protective god. We just left the room where is the most famous object here in the entire museum, which is the bust of Nefertiti. Uh, we didn't record anything because you are not allowed to record it, but I think we'll try to put like we record it from another room, so we'll put it here or like uh, uh, for online if you can find it. Okay, and the bust itself is like amazing, not only like the color but also like the symmetry of the face, like the perfection of everything. Now we are going to our last floor, yeah, fourth uh, floor. Mm -hmm. As you can see, like, all the museums are very close. Pergamon is just behind that. Then we have here the new museum we just saw. And then here we have the, how is it called? Atle Museum. Just left the museum. Mm -hmm. um, and it was very good, honestly. Was very like, good. It took us even longer than we thought. It took us like three, three hours. hours. Like, uh, mostly, yeah, it's uh, Egypt, ancient Egypt, a little bit of ancient Rome, uh, and then a, a little bit of like Stone movie. Age. Let's go. Because we're getting light and we have a lot of things to see today. I think I think three is a good goal. Three. Yeah, let's try three. Oh, well, look at the cute of the entrance. Mm -hmm. So it's currently 1 p.m. and we are going to the second museum of the day. This is a Pagan museum. It's the most visited museum here in the island. Okay, so we just entered the Pergamon museum, and okay, from what we're gathering, it's basically like a, a more like Islamic and ancient Near West. Like Babylonia, so Assyria, so we're very excited because like it's very different from where we've just been. It's like we study like ancient Egypt and everything like that. So today is being like very excited because we also study like ancient Mesopotamia. So this is a ziggurat. Babylon, it's like a pyramid in Egypt, most important. Famous called of Amurabi, you can find it in the original in the Louvre. 
Could you just say this in our classes? Yeah, so basically, they try to reconstruct the really awesome being inside of a Syrian palace. And basically, all of what we're seeing, which is now grey, is to be red, white, and blue. And then the walls will be kind of like this. And then the ceiling will be also gold. So it'll be like super colorful. Okay, so basically, this is one of the coolest parts of the museum. So basically, we have like the, this facade. This was the processional way that led to the palace, the Ishtar Palace. And Ishtar was the main goddess in all the Mesopotamia. And sometimes she would be represented as the lion. So we have all this facade. And then we have this, which is the Ishtar Gates, which is the entrance to the palace. So this is the recreation, so basically it will be this whole facade until the beginning of the palace. It's just so amazing, isn't it? Like, I don't know, it's, it's a really different thing to have in a museum, like the food, mm -hmm. the stuff, yeah. And the colors and the animals, like... It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. My god. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. It's so cool. And then here is the market gate. It's amazing. It's huge. Okay, so first floor officially done. Now Islamic cultures. Here we go. This is the Aleppo room. The Aleppo room comes from the Aleppo city, which is a city in Syria. Like, oh my God, it's so amazing. The colors and the painting and everything. We just left the museum, so we have five minutes to get to our next museum uh, because now with COVID everything has like a time slot, so you need to book like a specific time. But honestly, like the, this museum was like amazing. So like if you like Babylon, uh, Mesopotamia, Islamic art was so nice too. Like everything was just very different than usually seen in museums. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't know if it's like the museums or like the bridges, but like it's giving me like. I don't know, like such a Paris vibe? I don't know, it's weird. <sighs> no, it's really, really cold. Okay, and right here. First observant is that this museum is way emptier than the other two, like it's been like three rooms like this, you see no one. Yeah, it's mostly like statues and like parts of statues from like late Gothic and like France, Germany. So this has got to be the quietest I've ever been in a museum. Like there's no one around. Like it's insane. So just by the side of the uh, Bodh Museum, it's the panorama. I don't really know, I know it's like a part of the Pergamon uh, Museum. I don't think it's a museum, I think it's like an exhibition. Like reconstitution, 3D or something like that. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's so cool! Pergamon was a city in uh, uh, minor Asia. And then they took the altar and they put it in the Pergamon Museum. So basically it's renovating until like, 25? I think it's 2025? 20, 2025. So it's still a little while. So basically I think they created this museum. The whole uh, altar and the frieze, everything is in Pergamon. But then a few statues uh, is here. The, you have the like rooms. the music, the sounds, and basically like a I recreation. Don't know. What was yeah. the festival when they were sacrificing, sacrificing animals for the gods? They and were they partying. Have the amphitheater. So for the five museums in the panorama, we saw like three three museums. museums in the panorama. Yeah, we so still then? see a lot, but yeah, yeah. I think uh, it's totally worth it. Like every totally museum is like super different. So I advise like choose the ones you think you'll like more because it's impossible to see everything in one day. Hope it wasn't that boring. It and we really hope you're enjoying our vlogmas. It's been a, a heck of a, of a journey. True, true. Um, and yeah, I can't believe like, we're almost in Christmas. If you're enjoying, give the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And see you on the next vlogmas. Bye!